What's up? What we're looking at is the reticle from my Swamp Fox Optic. Uh, if I can hold the camera still, I'm going to show you the difference between good glass and cheap glass. So if we notice, I have you know, my, my green reticle and it's dark around it and inside of it, right? So I'm going to turn another scope on. Optic. If I can reach over here. And as soon as I do, it almost falls off the, uh, as soon as I do, uh, here's the other one, okay? You see all the green ambient glow around this? That's the problem, is all that green glow. Uh, the first one we were looking at didn't have any of this glow. It just had the green uh, chevron in the middle uh, There is a big difference. So this glass right here the cheap glass uh, It scatters more of that light through it. It makes this uh, glow and That's unusable at night. So um, Really nice to have ED glass uh, extra dispersion that might not even be the word for it. I just know that it's ED glass and, um, you know, it gets rid of a lot of this. Uh, Swamp Fox, they just have good glass. I know they have good glass uh, because of how well this optic works. Uh, it is my 5X, 5x36X uh, Sabre. It's got a really wide field of view. Uh, and with a lens that big, if you had crappy glass in it, it just wouldn't work. Um, so they did put a nice piece of glass in this. I'm really happy with this thing. I'll probably get another one. Over here, we have uh, budget optic glass. And this is what a lot, a lot of companies used uh, in a lot of their cheap scopes. Um, this grade of glass, uh, they, you can find some Tango scopes that you know have glass somewhat like this so uh it is true you used to have to pay you know exuberant amounts of money for a good scope for a good optic because it was kind of like a specialty thing but nowadays we have so many shops so many different brands competing in making these things it's really not as specialized anymore uh, especially if you've worked at a modern shop and you kind of know what we're capable of. Um, yeah, I, I'm just going to say it. There's no reason why some of these optics should be $3,000. Um, a lot of that is just going to name brand. That's just my personal take on it. Um, I found plenty of optics that have really good glass uh, and they work very well. The Panzer that I've been rocking on my AR-10. Moondog Industries just did a video comparing it to a $2,500 Vortex scope. And the Vortex had a better 10x, but uh, the Monstrum uh, Panzer had a better 1x, which is actually more valuable to me in that setup. Uh, and everything else was still comparable. And the comment I left was, yeah, the $2,500 scope uh, you know, had the better 10x and everything, but uh, the other scope only cost 200 <laughs> It's like not even a tenth of the value. And, uh, you know, it might have not been as good as the $2,500 scope, but I would have guessed that it would have been at least a, a $1,900 scope. And in reality, you know, it's 200 some dollars with discount code, and they're getting it done. Right, uh, the Panzer has become my default scope just because to match that, I'm going to be coming out a couple thousand dollars for sure. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to quickly show the difference. Uh, one of the main things that I look for. I also do uh, extreme light testing, which is where you have fluorescence and really bright synthetic lights on the wall next to you. Because it's not all just about the light that's coming in here. Uh, some of it is about the light that is hitting the eyepiece and reflecting back into your eye. Uh, when you talk about glares and 
lens coatings and all of that stuff till the cows come home. Uh, but this is just my take on it. You don't have to spend $5,000 for an optic if you know where to look and what you're getting, especially with some of the brand new offerings that are out right now. Uh, but this was just, uh, I was like, oh, you know, while I have these both sitting here in front of me and I was looking and looking at the difference in, you know, the ambient glow of green, I was like, I could probably make a vid out of this real quick. So uh, definitely one of the things I look for and definitely you probably should too if you're ever looking at a scope to buy anyway uh, oh i was gonna say this is still an amazing daytime scope right it's just and and it's daytime bright when i turn it on like uh you know it enhances the reticle i can see during the daytime there's obviously not going to be any ambient green glow during the daytime so all this is is to enhance that this isn't really going to work under any low light you know circumstances at all this one works great i can see clear across the highway with this one at night i can see things in the shadows uh really good clear glass especially i'm surprised at how many things i see over there with only a 5x here um the other optic i'm i'm using is like a 10x so uh you know i really do like these these sabers i will vouch for them especially after the sub-zero testing Yo, I really thought, you know, I was I was really wondering. You know, it got really, really cold out. Surprisingly, this AK did amazing. Even the Votatu lasers and lights all work. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's been a fun, fun few Sub-Zero days. But I'm done with that shit. <laughs> it needs to warm up. And uh, anyway, have an awesome day, everybody. And I will see you on the flip side.